professional. For quality coaching purposes, all of our calls are recorded. Mm-hmm. If this is a fire, police, or medical emergency, please hang up and call 911. Your personal information may be required by divisional partners and representatives working on their behalf to proceed with this request. Your information is collected under the City of Toronto Act 2006 and Bylaw 878 2004. 311 Toronto is committed to providing the best service possible to all customers. We remind callers that aggressive behavior, harassment, or coarse language will not be tolerated and may lead to ending the call interaction if necessary. Please listen carefully to the following options as our menu options have changed. For property tax and utility bills, press 1. For noise, press 2. For water, press 3. For all other inquiries, press 9 or hold for the next available customer service representative. All of our customer service representatives are currently assisting other callers. Please hold and we will call your call as quickly as possible. Please select your music genre featuring songs from Toronto artists. For rock, folk and country, press 1. For hip hop, soul and R. Thank you for calling 311 Toronto. My name is Denise. How may I help you? Uh, hi, one second. Make sure we have a speaker. Um, hi, I wanted to file a formal complaint about the blue fence in Trinity Bellwoods. Uh, what type of complaint about it? Uh, the worst complaint possible. What What is exactly the nature of your complaint, sir, so I know how to direct your call? Well, you know the fence I'm talking about, right? Yes, I do. So what do you, why, why do you think I have a complaint about it? I, I, I can't, I don't know. I don't know what you're thinking. If, if you speculated, if, if a random person... I'm not going to speculate. May I ask the reason uh, for your call so what, I know obvious. how to direct your call? Is it not obvious? No, it's not. Really? Why is it not obvious? What, 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 what on the news have they said about the fence? Sir, what is the nature of your what complaint? I don't watch the news. You don't watch the news? happened there three days ago why is the fence okay, first can you tell me why is the fence there that's my question to you is 311 so what is what is the why? reason for your call so the I know how to the, direct your the call first reason is I want to talk to somebody who knows why the fence is there it's still there you're telling me that the fence is still there yeah well unless it's been removed okay. this morning it was there last night so your call your complaint is to have the fence removed and never Again, yeah. I'm, Can I'm you hold the line? I'm complaining that it was placed in the first place as well. I'll see who you would speak with about that. Can you hold okay. the line from both of Thank you.
Uh, what's the complaint line? 416-396-7378. And that was the uh, complaints line to forestry and recreation, forestry parks and recreation. And what were the other, uh, you said that was one of several um, entities responsible for the decision? What were the, what are the other ones? The initiative, well, well, okay, the initiative involves various decisions, yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay, yeah. What was, what did you say before P police? Did you say something else? I missed that. No, okay, okay, so parks and recreation, police, and who else is involved here to be complained to? Oh, offering what? Yeah, okay, I don't think they wanted this to happen. Um, who else was involved? Oh, well, obviously city council is behind it as well. They they made a majority vote to do this in the first place. And they merit, merit, meritory voted for it. And well, no, I already no, my council already voted against it. That's the thing. That's why I have to phone someone other than city council because my council already voted against it. Mike Layton, yeah, and Joe Cressy voted against it. Because um, because look, the fence is still there in Trinity Village, and they have security people patrolling the park in these tacky yellow shirts, star security. Last night, I went to the park with my wife. Literally, we're the only people in the park other than like five security people and two cops. It's like, what are they even doing there? They're making the park like, oppressive for people to even use. It's a symbol of hate against the people they already evicted. It's like, that shouldn't be happening. And, you know, Forrest and Rec, uh, I don't know, is it because they're following orders from the city that those security people are in the park? Because um, I want to ask about those, those security forces as well, not just the fence. Who, who's, who's, who's choosing to continue to staff star security in Trinity Bellwoods? So park, so parks and three, because guess what? They told me to call 311 when I first got there, went before they'd even evicted people. The P, star security in yellow shirts said, call 311, they have all the information. Oh, supervisor of Trinity Bellwoods? Okay, do they supervise many parks or that one in particular? Oh, and and do do um, different parks have a supervisor in common sometimes? How frequent is that? Okay, who's the who's the supervisor of Trinity Bellwoods? Margaret Best 416-392-042. And here's the supervisor for Alexandra Park, because that's what it's got that's all gonna happen next there. Hi four. Okay, thanks. You have a good one.